At one time, Pra was a city-state belonging to the Greater Lana Kingdom. What was known as the Glass Palace was the living area and reception area for official visitors of the prince. This palace was built by Prince Piliyate Pawong, the last prince of Pra. It is estimated that it was built between 1892 and 1897. After Prince Pimpisan passed away and Prince Piliyate Pawong had succeeded him as ruler. But before becoming the Prince of Pra, he married Lady Buata Mahayotpanya, who later built Wongbali House and lived there for the rest of her life. However, because they were childless, they divorced and the prince married Lady Buolai. They subsequently had many sons and daughters together. The architecture of the palace of the Prince of Pra dates back to the time of Rama V. This style of building is called colonial or gingerbread. Originally, it encompassed a very large area. There was an elephant stable, horse stable, and quarters for servants and slaves. The area that is now Nalilat School was the prince's horse stable. The area off to the right of the palace was the royal field used for various ceremonies or traditional entertainment. There was a two meter high brick wall around it with a gate connecting to the palace. The original palace roof had wood shingles. After they wore out, these shingles were replaced with diamond-shaped tiles. The main roof was hipped. A rectangular porch extended out from the front. The roof was manila style, as were the gables, the eaves, the moldings, the doors, the windows, and the balcony railings. The entire building was decorated with intricate wood carvings. It was an extremely luxurious, magnificent palace. There were a total of 72 custom-made windows and doors. The carpenters and craftsmen were both Chinese and locals. Inside, the palace was decorated with rare household articles and furnishings. The front porch originally had stairs on both the north and south sides. The porch has since been removed. All that is left now are the front and back stairways. The structure itself is made from cement bricks. There were no piles driven into the ground. Timbers were used to secure the base. The building is three stories high, including the cellar. The cellar is about two meters high and is divided into three rooms. It was used for food storage as well as a prison for slaves and servants. This is what started the rumors and stories of the spirits that continue to haunt this building, a legend that continues to this day. Their Majesties, the King and Queen, stayed at the palace of the Prince of Pra during the occasion of their visit on March 15th through the 17th in 1958. Besides that, this building also received the Best Preserved Building Award for 1993 and the Best Architectural Award for 1997 from Her Royal Highness Princess Sirinton. This building is definitely a historical site that has remained valuable in terms of the history and culture of the Pra people for a very long time.